season. Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be checking out Cars. Honestly, I don't even remember if I've seen this movie. It doesn't really look familiar. I don't remember. Actually, I just don't remember, okay? <laughs> I haven't seen the trailer. I'm looking at the poster right now and it weirdly reminds me of this one movie that I used to be obsessed with when I was a kid. It was called Robots and it's about... Robots? <laughs> I know, shocking. Anyway, back to Cars. I think I haven't seen this movie. I haven't watched the trailer or anything. I like to go blind into these movies because, you know, it's just more exciting for me. Personally, so yeah, I'm going into this blind and I really hope you will enjoy this reaction and I hope to enjoy this movie, obviously. So, yep, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I am speed. One winner. 42 losers. Whoa. I eat losers for breakfast. Okay. Breakfast. Maybe I should have had breakfast. Oh, you didn't have breakfast? Breakfast is the main meal of the day, so they say. You know what? Just pause this video, go grab some snacks, go make yourself a cup of coffee or a tea, just grab something and let's watch this movie together. Come on. I'll wait. No, no. I am lightning. Oh, yeah. Lightning's ready. I've got to say something. I don't care about cars. Like, at all. I just don't have any interest in cars, car racing, in owning a vehicle even. But he is looking good, okay? He's a very good looking car. <laughs> He's such a poser. Oh my god, such a show off. I can already feel it. You know, sometimes you just look at the person and you just, you can tell. You can tell. And I can tell that he's a show off. I mean, he should be, like, look at him. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Winner mentality. Oh my god, this is so easy for him. <laughs> Okay, so basically this is the universe that it's like full of cars. This is cars you know. Makes sense. <laughs> Three cars are tied for the season points lead. He's been Danico's golden boy for years. Chick Hicks. He's been chasing that tail pin his entire career. Okay, tough competition. Lightning McQueen! You know, I don't think anybody expected this. The rookie sensation came into the season unknown. Okay, so he's our main protagonist, I'm guessing, because he's a rookie and they literally showed us him at the beginning with his inner monologue and not having breakfast. <gasps> oh no! I mean, there's no way, right? He's gonna lose. He's gonna lose this race. <laughs> Get through that, McQueen! Oh, a huge crash behind the leader. This is violent. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but in the universe, this is like actual murder. They just slaughtered like half of the contestants. Like McQueen is in the wreckage. There's no way the rookie can make oh it. Oh my through. god. Will he manage to win? There's no way. Damn it. <laughs> he just used a corpse as a trampoline. What is going on? <laughs> Everyone else heads into the pits. McQueen stays out to take the lead. Don't take me out, coach. I can still race. See, he's like crippled for life now. No, 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 no tires, just gas. <laughs> you need tires, you idiot. I actually cannot believe it. Like, they have real life Squid Games. Well, yeah, obviously not every car that is out of this race is gonna is gonna be completely destroyed and. Not every car will die, <laughs> okay? Why am I talking about death again? Like, right at the beginning of the commentary. I'm not obsessed with, like, killings and deaths and stuff like that. I'm just observing. There is a possibility that these cars are gonna get killed during this race. That was not my idea. That's what they are showing me right now, okay? Checkered flag, here I come. Oh my god! Car. And with only one turn to go, oh can no. he make it? You fool! He's not gonna make it. 
I would never participate in anything like that. Ooh. Nope. Count me out. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so nerve wracking. The king and chick rounding turn four. He's not gonna make it. And it's no. It's too close to call. I don't too believe it. Hey, no cameras. Get out of here. Oh, cops. Yes, that's right. You should be here. This is a crime scene. They just massacred half of these contestants. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, cops should be here. Oh, Corey. There's a lot more to racing than just winning. Yo, Chuck! Chuck, what are you doing? You're blocking the camera! Everyone wants to see the bolt. What did I tell you? He is a show-off. <laughs> we quit, Mr. One-Man Show! How will I ever find anyone else who knows how to fill me up with gas? And he's rude to the stuff. Chuck. We're supposed to hate him, right? <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> okay, prediction time. He's such an asshole right now. I'm pretty sure he will have a full-on, like, redemption arc. And at the end of this movie, we're going to like him. Piston cup? It's mine, dude. In your dreams, Thunder. Thunder? What's he talking about Thunder? You know, because Thunder always comes after lightning. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. You got more talent in one lug nut than a lot of cars has got in their whole body. Really? Oh, that's... But you're stupid. <laughs> Excuse me? You need to wise up and get yourself a good crew chief and a good team. Yeah, he's yeah. been so disrespectful to his crew. And he's not even listening. Dude, what are you doing? <clears throat> yeah, that, that is spectacular advice. That actually was spectacular advice. Alienating yourself from the society and from people around you is never a good idea. Believe me. I mean, you probably can make it on your own. But it's much easier with a team. Hey, look, there he is! <laughs> Our almost Don't rub it in. Like, yeah, you loser. He's a sore loser on his own, okay? You don't have to make it even worse. We might even clear it up to buy you some headlights. Are you saying he doesn't have headlights? That's what I'm telling you. It's just stickers. Why are you bullying him? Oh, I needed this. Hello? Okay, this is some comfortable truck. They're giving you 20 tickets for the tiebreaker thing in Cali. I'll pass them on to your friends. Friends? Yes, there's, um... Yeah, you don't have any. Because you've alienated yourself from this whole society. Around me are I mean, I usually feel really bad for people who can't make friends. But he is at fault here. Kinda. Because he's been such a prick. I still feel sorry for him, though. <laughs> Old Mac needs a rest. Absolutely not. We're driving straight through all night till we get to California. Federal DOT rig on, state. Mac. I need to get there before check. Okay, this man is just a criminal at this point. Look, it'll be easy. I'll stay up with you. All night? All night long. Yeah, because you're not driving. And he fell asleep. Of course he did. Oh my god. No. No. Oh no. no, no. <laughs> God, irresponsible driving drives me crazy. I love the design of different cars, especially these neon cars. Oh my god, they look amazing. <laughs> Pretty Why are you music. Doing this? Oops, I missed. What is going on? Is this like a world full of criminals? Why are they all doing this? One should never drive while drowsy. Okay, you just have to drive to California on your own. It's gonna be fine. What are you doing? He's panicking. Oh my god, he's panicking. What? What was the reason? Go crazy! Oh, 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 go stupid! Oh. Not in my town, you don't. <laughs> is this a ghost town? I'm telling you, man. Every third blink is slower. Oh, Jesus. They have nothing better to do. The 60s weren't good to you, were they? Such a tiny, small little town. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> See, now he's ruining somebody else's property. I'm telling you, he is a criminal. He just destroyed half of this town. The first competitor, Lightning McQueen, is arriving at the track. Wait, Lightning, what's your strategy? Oh. Yeah, about that. What? Did I forget to wipe my mud flap? Yeah, you kind of lost your kid. And yes, I said kid because he behaves like a kid. 
Morning, slave and beauty! <laughs> Wait, the founder of this town is probably like his ancestor, one of his ancestors, right? That's interesting. I like you already. My name's made like Tomato, but without the tub. <laughs> oh my god, he's funny. What's your name? You you don't know my name? No. He's not used to people not recognizing him, huh? What did I tell you about talking to the accused? To not to. Aw, Mater is so sweet. Well, we'll talk later, Mater. <laughs> <laughs> later, Mater. Officer, talk to me, babe. How long is babe? this gonna take? I gotta get to California. He said, babe. <laughs> I want him out of our town. Case dismissed. Yes. What? Boy, I'm pretty good at this lawyer and stuff. <laughs> She's gotta be from my attorney's office. Hey, thanks for coming, but we're all set. He's letting me go. She's a prosecutor, right? All you have to do now is stand there and let me look at you. Uh, Listen, ew! Stop. Oh Dinner. my god. Go. Guys, boys, fellas, if you ever think about saying anything like that to a person, don't. Just don't. Like, it's not a compliment, okay? It doesn't ever sound like a compliment. It sounds degrading and belittling. It doesn't sound right. I create feelings in others that they themselves don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I scare you? Yes. Pervert. I'm gonna go talk to the judge. Do what you gotta do, baby. Oh, but listen, be careful. Folks around here are not firing on all cylinders, if you know what I mean. I hate him. <laughs> I literally do. Don't you think the car responsible should fix our road? Seems like my mind has been changed for him. I am so not taking you to dinner. I mean, as if she wanted to. Oh, man, you get to work with Bessie. I'd give him a left two lug nuts or something like that. Bessie? McQueen probably never worked in his life. Like, not even for a day. So fixing the road is probably gonna be a challenging task. <gasps> this is his redemption arc. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. I'm hereby sentencing you to community service. Hey, and I know this might be a bad time right now, but uh, you owe me $32,000 in legal fee. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He was his lawyer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How long is this gonna take? Well... Fella does it right, you take him about five days. Again, he's never worked, so probably five weeks. <laughs> I'm disappointed. <laughs> he's out of gas, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Out of yes. Gas. How can I be out of gas? <laughs> what? But how did they end up here? Before he did. Why are they faster than him? <laughs> You siphoned your gas while you were passed out. Oh my god, she's so smart. I shouldn't have to put up with this. I'm a precision instrument of speed and aerodynamics. You hurt your what? I'm a very famous race car. No, you're a very pretentious prick. Welcome to Radiator Springs, gateway to Ornament Valley. Legendary for its quality service and friendly hospitality. How can we help you? We're just trying to find the interstate. Well, and instead, you're finding warm greetings and hospitality. And if you need tires, stop by Luigi's Casa delle Tires, home of the Leaning Tower of Tires. Leaning Tower of Tires. He's Italian. How did he end up here? In the middle of nowhere. That's for him to know, and for us to find out. I'm being held here against my will, and I need you to call my team so they can come rescue me and get me to California in time for me to win the Piston Cup. Do you understand? Yeah, nobody cares. It's literally your own problems. And you brought it upon yourself. You're a criminal race car, okay? Criminal. Don't leave me here! I'm in hillbilly hell! I mean, yes, you're stuck here for doing bad things. Shouldn't have been such an idiot. I can go when this road is done. That's the deal, right? <laughs> Oh my god, poor Bessie. He's done! Done? Okay. <laughs> it looks awful. Now well, it matches the rest of the town. What did you say? Red? He's awful. He's literally awful. Start over again. Hey, okay, look, Grandpa, I'm not a bulldozer. I'm a race car. Then why don't we just have a little race? Me and you. Doc used to be a race car as well. Is he a race car? That's why he's challenging McQueen? Oh my god, I want to see this race. You know what, old timer? That's a wonderful idea. No road rage, no maiming, no oil slick, no pushing, no shoving. This is probably the biggest event of a century for this town. Oh, they're all so excited. Speed, I'm speed. Can't wait to see him fail. 
<laughs> no, actually, I can't wait to see him lose this race. Because he needs to be humbled. Because he's been so annoying and ungrateful and unkind. There has to be something that will shift his perspective, right? <laughs> Whoa. Great idea, Doc. Now the road will never get done. Don't listen to them. I believe in you, Doc. And also, he knows the terrain, right? <laughs> what are you doing? You got your tow cable. Oh, yeah, I always got my tow cable. Why? Oh, just in case. I told you. He knows the terrain. Oh my god, that was so smart. I hate. Hate, hate! I can make a little turn okay, on Okay, at least he has the decency to stay true to his words. He made a bet, and he's finally doing something that would contribute to the overall betterment of this society. You race like you fix roads. I'll show him. Dude, stop <laughs> complaining. I, I mean, he didn't think for a second that that was his fault. Hey, look at this here fancy new road. McQueen done, yes, mate. Way to go. Well done. Where is he, though? I mean, I just hope that he's resting somewhere, just sleeping, that he didn't bail on them. That punk actually did a good job. Where the heck is he? Where is he? He did bail on them. He ran out of asphalt in the middle of the night and asked me if he could come down here. All he's trying to do is make that their turn. Oh, okay, he's trying to improve his performance. <laughs> I mean, I know I've been shitting on him this whole movie, like it's been an hour. I just don't really like him yet. I'm pretty sure I'll change my mind. They will make me change my mind. I mean, he's growing on me. I admit it, he's growing on me. Give it too much, you'll be out of the dirt and into the tulip. If you're going hard enough left, you'll find yourself turning right. He has to be a race car. I don't know, something tells me he used to be a race car. Turn right to go left. Yeah. Oh. Try it. Oh, I'm stuck here paving the stinking road. Chicks in California schmoozing Dinoco. That's your biggest concern? Maybe you should be worried about this race? The upcoming race that you're participating in? I don't know. You come to my shop. Luigi, take a good care of you, even though you're not a Ferrari. You buy. Okay, I need a sequel about this Italian car. First of all, I need to find out how he ended up here. And this little sidekick car Bruh. is so cute. Ramon, Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they all are renovating their places, you know, and trying to make this town look better. Because he's fixing the road, and I'm guessing this road was, like, the main concern of theirs. That was the most depressing part of this town. So, if a road looks brand new, and the rest of the town looks like crap, it's just not the vibe you should be going for, you know what I'm saying? And I love it, but I have my own concerns. I'm pretty sure the road and the condition of this road has nothing to do with the fact that they don't have visitors. There's probably another town closer to the main road where people, um, I mean cars, stop when they need to. And this little tiny town in the middle of the desert, it just serves no purpose anymore. And it's really sad. But I'm pretty sure it's not about the road. Do you want to stay at the cozy cone or what? Wait, you're being nice to me. I mean, if you want to <laughs> stay at the dirty impound, that's, that's fine. You know, I understand you criminal no, types. No, no, no. I understand you criminal types. Mayor. I'm not doing this. Oh, come on, you'll love it. <laughs> what are they up to? Tractor tipping fun. When I say go, we go. But don't let Frank catch it. More criminal activity? He wants to be involved in more criminal activity? Because I'm pretty sure it's illegal. Okay, here's what you do. You just sneak up in front of them and then honk. And they do the rest. Watch this. At least I wouldn't appreciate it. You know, being spooked like this? In the middle of your REM sleep? They are all criminals out there. <laughs> what? This is so mean. I'm sorry. I mean, that's probably funny to them. But it's mean. This is unbelievable. Why are they doing this? I'm worried about these tractors. Are they going to help them? 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, I'm happy that you're having a little bonding moment over these poor tractors, but you're kind of irresponsible. That is irresponsible. A big tractor. <laughs> so what he has trespassing, assault, the destruction of private property, the destruction of public property. I don't think he murdered anyone during that race, but he might have. He's just a criminal, I'm sorry. You know, actually Sally's gonna let me stay at the motel. Getting cozy at the cone, is we? Oh. And I don't like her, to be honest. Yeah, we all figured. Hey, look, there's Miss Sally. What? Where? <laughs> You're in love with Miss Sally. Of course he is. And I mean, he should be. She's gorgeous and she's strong. And she is the moment. I'm the world's best backwards driver. <laughs> what are you doing? Watch out, look out. He has so many talents. I love my eater. I mean, if we close our eyes on this tractor incident, he's a great dude. Rear view mirrors. We'll get you some and I'll teach you if you want. Aww. Yeah, maybe I'll use it in my big race. What's so important about this race of yours anyway? Well, I think it's about keeping his self-esteem somewhere above cloud nine, you know? I've been dreaming about it my whole life. I'll be the first rookie in history to win it. And when I do, we're talking big new sponsor with... So I don't get it. Are you doing this for money or for satisfying your biggest dream in the world? Like, is it about self-fulfillment? About, you know, your biggest dream in the whole wide world? Or is it just about money and sponsors? Because I refuse to believe it. I don't think he's that bad. I think he just wants to prove himself to this world. Hey, you think maybe one day I can get a ride in one of them helicopters? Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Don't lie to him. I know that I made a good choice. <laughs> made her what? so, so, so sweet. My best friend. <gasps> you made a friend! If you have a friend like him, don't ever let them go. They're priceless. They will be with you for the rest of your life, no matter what. Even if you're a criminal, McQueen. Just, I overheard you talking to Mater. What did, what did you hear? Oh, just something about a helicopter ride. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, we're safe. Did you mean it? That you'll get him a ride. Oh, who knows? I mean, first things first, I gotta get out of here. Mater trusts you. Do not betray his trust, please. For the love of God, do not betray him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Look, I'm exhausted. It's kind of been a long day. Yeah, it's not a firm yes. That was not a firm yes. Whoa, Doc. Time to clean out the garage, buddy. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a price? Piston cup? He was a race car! I was right! He has a piston cup? He used to be a race car. What happened? Uh, you won the championship three times! Look at those trophies! You look. All I see is a bunch of empty cups. Oh my god, it hurts. <laughs> I don't know, it's something about people who, who get so disappointed in their own dreams. It makes me feel so vulnerable and so bad, because I obviously want people to be happy, right? To, to realize their dreams to make it happen. Seeing people getting so disappointed and d destroyed and damaged, it is awful. Hey, hey, what are you doing? It's okay, Sheriff, you can trust me, right? I trust you, all right, it's him I'm worried about. I trust him. Why? He didn't even give you a firm answer. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of weird watching two cars falling in love, <laughs> but I'm kind of into it. I mean, not into cars. I just think that the way their relationship is progressing is really cute. Because they are kind of enemies to lovers, and they're really cute. Wheel Well used to be the most popular stop on the Mother Road. This place? Okay, what happened to this place? Yeah, imagine. Looks dope. How does a Porsche wind up in a place like this? Pretty, pretty simple. I was an attorney in LA. Were you rich? What? Why are you so hung up on this money thing? Okay, he is money horny. Why is he talking about money all the time? What's up with that? Materialism is evil, okay? It is pure evil. You know, I understand you need a little R and R's, but you know, after a while, why didn't you go back? She found her people. I fell in love. She fell in love with the place oh. and with people. Yep. I fell in love with this. Yeah. That is magnificent. You don't understand why people end up living in their trailers in the middle of nowhere. And now I'm not talking about nomads who have 
no place else to go. I mean, if they're forced to live in these places because they can't afford housing or healthcare or whatever, that is a whole nother thing. I'm talking about just people who, who just want to live closer to nature. I'm talking about these guys. 40 years ago, that interstate down there didn't exist. Back then, cars came across the country a whole different way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nobody needs this place now. Cars didn't drive on it to make great time. They drove on it to have a great time. Long oh, ago, not with the music. With I'm gonna cry. So what happened? The town got bypassed just to save 10 minutes of driving. Hmm. I mean, it's understandable. It's like the natural progression of our society, right? A lot of such tiny towns sadly vanish. And it's so sad to witness their disappearance. Just because everyone prefers to live in a big city nowadays. I mean, I live in a big city. I'm not the one to talk, you know? But it's just really sad. If anybody asks you, we was out smashing mailboxes, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so nobody respects poor tractors. There's one going this way. Yes, ready, set, go, come on. You can do this, I believe in you, come on. Yes, I knew he had it in him. Wow. Yeah, that's impressive. Like, the good old days. How could a car like you quit at the top of your game? You think I quit? Yeah, I don't think he did it willingly. Right. Your big rack in 54. Yeah, he probably has PTSD and you're making him relieve all these painful memories. When I finally got put together, I went back expecting a big welcome. You know what they said? Your history. Oh my god. When is the last time you cared about something except yourself, Hot Rod? Yeah, a valid question. Oh, like you? You've been here how long and your friends don't even know who you are? <gasps> Who's caring about only himself? Just finish that road and get out of here. What? Okay, I'm sorry. Him not talking about his past, his very, very, very painful past, is not a sign that he's, like, self-centered like you. He just wants to forget about all of that. That's not fair. His argument doesn't make sense. Yes, he has his secrets, but who doesn't? Like, literally, who doesn't have a secret that they are trying to hide just because it's too painful to think about? Or too humiliating or too embarrassing? That's not the point. You can have secrets. And you can, at the same time, be mindful about the troubles of people around you and caring and kind. These are not mutually exclusive. Are we even supposed to like McQueen? <laughs> Because I kind of don't. Tires can get me all the way to California. <laughs> Pizza? Stop. Yeah, does anybody know what time Luigi's open? <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm, I'm like ready to cry. Grazie, Mr. Lightning, grazie. I mean, when a biggest jerk makes at least a slightest attempt to change their nature, I'm like ready to cry. I don't know why I find it so impressive. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. <laughs> it's not impressive at all. Lightning McQueen. Oh. What do you think? Radiator Springs looks pretty good on me. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, it looks like you've helped everybody in town. Yeah, everybody except one. I mean, he did stay at her hotel, right? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Why does this place look amazing? <gasps> it's the ghost line. We have found the queen. We have It's his crew, right? It has to be his crew. How did you do that, though? And he also looks like a completely different car, by the way. Sally, I... I want you to... Look, I wish... I mean, they all know he needs to go to California. That's that's okay. That's fine. Thank you. Thanks for everything. And he can go back. Like, it's not a big deal. Are you Doc Hudson? Yeah. Thanks for the call. You called them? It's best for everyone, Sally. <laughs> it was him. And McQueen didn't even apologize. Best for everyone? Or best for you? Wait, <laughs> I thought he made a right choice. Because it is best for McQueen. Winning that race is his biggest dream. So technically, if Sally wants the best for McQueen, she needs to let him go. I don't like his mustache. Get rid of it. You know, the twins are the ones that used to be your fans, but now they're my fans. Anyway, listen to yeah. what the twins say. Hmm. Oh, he's like so in love <laughs> at this point. I don't think I, I didn't come all this way to see you quit. Doc? 
They're here! Oh my god, this is the sweetest thing ever. I thought you said you'd never come back. Well, I really didn't have a choice. <laughs> Mater didn't get to say goodbye. Yes, get Mater. Back! They're literally the best friends ever. Yeah, that's it, kid. Yes! Oh my god. Mater taught him. Queen, he's caught up to the leaders. Oh yeah, this is what it's all about. Yes, suck it, losers. You have nothing but an inflated ego, okay? Greedo, it's time. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, he's on a mission now. <laughs> I don't believe it! That was the fastest pit stop I've ever seen. No, seriously, I need a sequel about these cars. These two Italian dudes. Man. He killed him. What? Oh my god. He will give the second place to him. What are you doing, kid? I think the king should finish his last race. Why are you doing this to me? Okay. <laughs> That's a redemption arc. That is a solid redemption arc. I gotta go sign my deal with Dinoco. Kachika, say it with me. Kachika, Kachika. Oh my god, they're booing him. Yeah, nobody cares about your dirty victory, okay? Last one to flows buys. I don't know. Why don't we just take a drive? Nah. <laughs> I'm so happy for this community. Like, I've never been happier. This is so wholesome. Such a wholesome ending. There you go, guys. This was Cars. And honestly, I didn't expect it to be a story about, like, self-realization. It was nothing that I expected it to be. I'm so impressed. I'm really excited to watch the sequels, because I think there are two other movies. This movie was something new, because I'm so used to seeing Pixar and Disney movies about either princesses or animals. And here it was a movie about cars, so yeah, it was definitely different in this respect. I hated my queen. I could not stand him <laughs> for like the most part of this movie. And I guess that that was intentional, right? I just think that the overall message of this movie is how important it actually is to be surrounded by people who understand you, who can share your happy memories with you, and whom you can create these happy memories with. You know, I love Mater and all other characters, like, I think they were really fleshed out. They had their souls, they have character, and yeah, I think it was an amazing movie. I don't know what to say. I'm looking forward to watching the sequels, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this movie reaction. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys!